Hi guys, uh, welcome to another live stream. I'm Exact Chaos and I'm very excited that we're going to start with a City Skylines series. Uh, this is going to be a slightly different series than previously. This series is going to be a How a City Starts series. We're going to look specifically at how a city starts from nothing. Um, usually um, in City Skylines you're very tempted to kind of lay out proper big huge planned cities from the start but that's not how most cities have developed and not how most cities have actually formed. So this time around um, we will do a city from scratch uh, and I'll show you how it develops as best as I can. Uh, a few things to note, we're also trying to play as close to vanilla as possible. I have removed all of the assets and most of the mods. There's a couple of mods, so it's not, not, not vanilla as such, but it's very close. So I still have Traffic Manager President Edition on here. I still have Network Extensions 2 on here and I still have Move It on here. I think those three are the mods that I, I have running. There's no assets whatsoever. Okay, the map over here is a beautiful map that was created by Funchenstein. I can't remember the actual name of it, but it is uh, an Italian region. It's, or it's modeled after an Italian region. It's really beautiful. Look at all of this. And the reason I, I took it was because you've got these natural national highways running through it. And that is a pretty good way of seeing how a city starts. Because these little roads through the middle of nowhere is really where cities do tend to develop. Okay, so getting straight into it, why does it why does a city develop? So there's a few reasons um, why cities develop uh, or, or kind of originate in a certain area, um, and mostly it's not planned new cities. So there's there's a few examples of planned new cities in modern times, something like Canberra in Australia or Brasilia in Brazil, and then plenty of them in, in China and, and other regions of Asia. I know that, they, that they're doing their, um, their own new, completely master planned new cities. Um, but most cities um, <clears throat> develop because of a function or a requirement in an area, an industry or something like that. And, and not, not just because it's planned for new housing or, or so on. It, it, it develops around an industry, typically develops around an industry. The other quite uh, big thing for historic cities was always the, the requirement for there to be some water. So this city that we're going to start over here and we're going to just name it right now. It's going to be called Vanilla Vale. Okay, so that's the city name and it's going to originate right over here. As you can see, a lot of fertile farmland right over there. So first thing, I'm just going to go through this and I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to uh, upgrade. Well, let's just quickly turn the sound down a little bit on this. It seems very noisy. Emergency. Oh, I should probably switch off emergency. So main volume down a little bit. Um, effects volume. We can turn that down. Chirp, but it's not going to work in this one. Oh, the other mod I have is the is the um, <clears throat> is the chirpy exterminator okay let me quickly go in terms of gameplay let's quickly just take the uh, random disaster frequency we'll just take that down or a whole lot i don't want to see tons of disasters and stuff going on but if we do get one or two it'd be okay okay so go back to that so let me upgrade or downgrade this road to just standard zone roads over here but it's basically a national highway running through a region and it's going to serve a bit of a function in a specific area. Okay, so with that in mind, let's just take it a little bit farther. So we're going to start our city over here. As you can see, nice, big, luscious farmlands. So someone effectively decides, oh, actually, I'm going to build my farm here. You can see there's an old farmhouse over here. And so the idea was that a farm kind of is established in this area. So let's just do a little something like that. Just a bit of a road off of the main road. Something very basic. And then it can actually kind of run. Um, oops. What is that? Elevation steps. Uh, not that we're going to do too much of that. Then we've got a bit of a, a little thing that runs in like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start out not with the standard stuff. And, and that's why I've kind of switched on the milestone. All milestones unlocked piece. Um, we're going to start out with an agricultural area and it's going to grow in this spot right over here. So let's start. Uh, I'm going to place it right on the main road over here. Okay, that's basically where it's going to start. 
if we can squeeze it in. Yep, there it's going to go. It's the Fawn Estate. No, I'm going to rename that now, but let's quickly expand that to... Where's my size here? Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, oops, I do not want extra ones. Let's do that. It's not going to be the Fawn Estate. Uh, okay, so let's expand that properly. It's going to be a nice big farm farming kind of area right over here. That's going to be the start. Okay, I'm also going to change its name. Its name is going to be Vanilla Vale. So we'll we'll effectively say so. That's basically a farm name, and that's how many many cities do actually get their name. It starts out or town starts out with a farm name, and then the farm starts to develop. It's basically a function. Um, okay, so now let's get some of our first things in here. So we'll grab ourselves an extra little little bit of roadway in through there. It's probably not going to go over the hill there, so we'll probably go a little bit around the hill. Uh, a little bit like that, something like so. So that's going to be the starting point for the farm. We will grab some nice fields. I think we can select certain things, but what we'll do is we'll grab... A few fields in here like so and we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a large grain silo we could probably do a smaller one actually let's grab a small grain silo we'll start off with the small ones over here and then we'll see how that grows oh shall we just go large all together well we don't uh, we've got a fair bit of money I like the large one because it kind of reminds me of most towns start off with a bit of that <laughs> Uh, and when I think about it like this, we probably want it to go off the other side. Okay, so usually, anyway, we'll leave it as is. This is this is kind of the starting point for most towns. It starts off with a little bit of a, a thing, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a function like a farm. Okay, now the next thing is then people start living in the area, and it's not fully dense altogether. So we see a few people. Uh, moving in small houses okay and also there's a couple of shops that pop up to serve the needs and demands for the people okay so something like that as a bit of a starting point we would also need water so the town would only occur will only happen when there's water so we'll just slot in a water tank a water tower over there it needs power and typically small towns don't have their own power plants from day one uh, but in this instance, we will give it a little bit of a, a power connection over there. Now, let's get some piping in there uh, because we're going to need to pipe water to all of our immediate functions. And that is the start of a town right there. Nothing major, just a town starting from scratch, basically. OK, there's a function. Um, I'm going to just downgrade a little bit more of this road because the cars are coming in thick and fast into town. Okay, now we see we immediately need some uh, <clears throat> some of the, uh, um, what you would call it, uh, the sewage treatment. So we'll get ourselves the outlet over here and I'll go with the little bit better outlet so that it's not, it's not too painful uh, in terms of what it's going to pump into this little river that we've got going on here. I think this thing should start operating soon, right? Should have power. It should be connected. Well, it should probably flow. There's probably just not enough going on there straight away. Okay, now as you can see, there's a little bit more demand for people to be moving in. There's not enough workers. So now the town starts to expand because there's a function that needs more workers. So now the town slowly starts to expand. Okay, so we'll get a little bit more going on. People uh, continue to um, build their houses a little bit further away over here. And also on this side, because it's a nice, uh, well, actually people at this point, at this point in time, people are not quite um, interested in the river views and those kind of things just yet. It's more about the farming precinct and so on. You can see we're going to immediately have problems with this little uh, silo over here with cars going out all the way there. Okay, so now since there's a further demand for more people to move in, now the town starts to expand a little bit more. Maybe there's an extra road that pops out. Okay, and that effectively gives us uh, another row of houses, maybe to the back of this. 
a little something like that maybe it's still very informal and so on and it's still quite small the uh, the development in general but we're seeing a little bit more um, of an expansion going on over here a lot of more a few more people moving in and so on now there starts to become a demand for some additional uses okay since there's now people living here the police move in they uh, there's a requirement for some police activity over here so they're moving in as well but everybody still has the jobs um, because we have not even close to fulfill the working requirements for this area over here okay and so the city slowly starts to provide needs for the people um, it's all around a single industry over here is our industry prov providing us with anything yet nothing yet so i would like us to expand this industry because we're going to need money okay so if we go back here we want some more fields maybe even some more bigger fields we'll for instance we'll i think we'll slot in a farm over there and then we'll maybe see about few more pieces of land over there so there's a little ooh, and i don't want this this feels i don't want the green houses let's uh let's just get some wheat out there let's just get some wheat okay because i actually want to i've got an idea about a bit of an industry let's get some more wheat out here i want to do tons and tons of wheat is this another green house no we want wheat lots and lots of wheat is what we're going to do because our industry is going to go into the flower business that's basically what we're going to have okay as you can see this town is starting to expand um, and there is still a massive demand for workers all of these places need workers much much more workers are required so the city starts to expand yet again okay and it also now starts to expand alongside here maybe a few more maybe a few more little little shops and stuff on this side but people now start to move into this side a little bit too houses become a little bit bigger here on the river um, and there's some further expansion that takes place okay and as you can see immediately this national highway that's kind of that the city is is progressing along or developing along is becoming a bit of a problem um, traffic and and things like that so that's basically <laughs> why instead of having this as a massive highway from day one it's actually a small little road and and in the future traffic will be a big disaster on that and you have to just deal with that that's what most cities tend to do okay so let's uh let's expand our road network a little bit more people are making little little road network pieces that they can, so they can get straight to their to their farm to their jobs Okay, a little something like that and then we'll probably just tie it in over there and this is kind of how it works right so people now start moving in here um, there's a little bit maybe this becomes a little bit more of an activity corridor because there's a demand for some commercial over here but lots more people are starting to move in so it's just and it's still very low density typically at the start because people just they say there's lots of room there's lots of space we don't need to have high density stuff going on people have more than enough space they can just live um, wherever they want basically because it's very new and open areas just make sure we still have water connected to all of these and we're still very far from actually seeing any money okay now there's a requirement for some medical attention over here so there's a bit of a, uh, a clinic that opens up um, to serve the needs so it's really all about serving the needs of what is going on over here the other thing that we obviously also need is a bit of a fire station and i think that fire station will just go kind of get its way right over there so now we've got all the kind of basic services we're not we don't have schools and stuff like that yet it's just all the the basic services associated with um, the needs of the town and all of these people are still kind of working in in at these farms that we that that's the primary industry of the city and where the city basically comes from um astral descent welcome to the stream i'm so glad you're able you're able to make it uh we are building a bit of a city from scratch and how a city would typically start 
Um, okay, so now, again, so the next step is once we find that, um, so now we find that there's a lot of crops being produced. So now the city kind of develops its first real industry. And in the case of our city over here, we are going to call uh, uh, it a flower. There's going to develop a flour mill in this city over here. Okay, so the flour mill opens up in the city because there's a lot of wheat farms and so on around. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this thing around. Just let me get another little row that I'm going to run through like that should be fine. Blake way. I'm just going to go ahead and turn you around onto the other side there. Or potentially just right over there. That's fine. And we get rid of Blake Road. Okay, so that's moved there. So there's going to be a little bit less of a traffic jam. But there you can see. So now we've got our very first industry. There's a flour mill going on. And so now the needs of the city is about moving goods that's being created here, providing a secondary function for that, and then moving those goods out. Okay. As you see, there's still continuous demand for further residential expansion. So now people start seeing opportunity to grow the city in various directions. So this becomes a little bit of a, of a, of a junction in the middle of the city, basically. And now this is a commercial hotspot because everybody drives through this little junction over here. Those kind of things. But behind that, um, we again will see a lot more of these these uh, residential developments but again very very low density nothing major in terms of density over here just yet okay so if we uh, build our piping so services being rendered to all of these people all still lives on dirt roads but that is basically what is going to happen okay so further expansion is happening i'm sure at some point we will see oh let's speed things up a little bit um, so that things just grow a little quicker, we get a little bit more. I'm sure this stuff should start making money um, at any moment. Some of this stuff should certainly be um, be exported. Let's add a few more um, because it is we do need to uh, to continue our our uh, continuously produce stuff. Uh, let's actually start off with a little bit of a extra road in here, maybe right. Um, right next to this the, the lands over here and a, another road gets out there so as you can see it doesn't really no proper planning in terms of this road network just yet it's only about uh, how are we going to lay out these crops in a way that makes sense so there's a little one over there we can start using some bigger ones right next to that over there and okay that should be fine for now all of that's still wheat that looks pretty good we can start to see that this is how the farms are kind of laid out uh, and as the roads go out to new areas um, we also um, see the expansion of the services in those areas okay now we're starting to see that there's a pile up of garbage over here so the next thing is for the city to allocate a space for for a dump site now that is something that they always kind of where do we put it it's somewhere at the edge of the city basically so probably around a little something around here so what we'll do is they'll expand a little road like this okay maybe even down that little hill there like so and then they will be they, they will kind of allocate the, the the services that they don't want close to the city and places like that so there we go a bit of a bit of a dump site all the way out there we're gonna um, run the water in that direction as well my goodness the water is not working alongside the road the water is gonna go all the way out there also now the people are starting to demand some other things like a church or a, a cemetery or so on so that's some of the next things that happens in the expansion and every time there's a little bit more of these little roads popping up okay off of the main road to provide an easier access point to to the new stuff there's no grid kind of standard grid pattern maybe a little bit something so that kind of just links up into there something like that and now the city decides actually in this corner here we're going to again have 
a little bit of uh, commercial stuff. Let's just get rid of that. It will be a little bit more commercial in this area over here on the crossroads. Uh, maybe something like that. And there will also be a cemetery site somewhere on a, on a pretty main road like this. Okay, so now there's a, a bit of a church and a cemetery over there. Now we are starting to see that we are running out of power. So we'll expand it again. Again, small little cities like this don't typically have their own power provision. They get it from the region. How's the stream going, guys? Um, it seems to be, um, the upload speed seems to be a, be a bit low. So how is it going? Is everybody seeing the stream properly? Is it a bit slow? Yes, I am playing with everything unlocked just because uh, I don't like the progression of stuff. So I am play playing with all the progression stuff unlocked from the start. Um, just because we are trying to build a, a natural city over here. Um, so we needed different types of roads and stuff straight from the start. Because this the standard stuff that they give you in, in vanilla if you're not playing uh, with everything unlocked is uh, strange roads that you don't necessarily see out in the rural areas. Okay, so how are we doing in terms of our little industry over here? So we're now we're starting to see there's a bit of an income coming from crops that's being um, produced and exported and flour is also being produced. So we would like to see a little bit more of the crops being diverted to, to the flour industry over here. But in order for that to work, we need more workers. So now the town starts to expand again because there's a big potential um, for expansion of, of or for money basically from the new industry over there so some new roads start to develop um, again and these turn into blocks that now gets more and more people moving in right uh, maybe the density kind of creeps up a little bit but it's still all very low density at this stage still a very small city only a few hundred people that live here So various shapes and sizes of stuff that's being developed here. Um, okay, and I obviously need to bring in the water a little bit. But yeah, that's basically how the city then starts, right? And so uh, the rest is all about meeting the needs of a, a growing industry. Okay, and so along most of the roads, there are some needs over there. Okay, so now the city is starting to become a little bit bigger and there's a little bit more population and so they kind of start needing their very first school. So uh, at the, in the center of the city, uh, probably very close to the church and the commercial district, um, you, would very, you would find your first primary school. Probably wouldn't look as modern as this one, but in the vanilla game, that's what we've got. Okay, so of course all of that will have will have water connected to it okay and of course at the same time the main road is very popular especially for the commercial buildings so as commercial demand creeps in the main road is the place where that kind of happens and grows grows so all of the demand is met okay now let's uh, let's continue our growth do want us to get profitable we need to get profitable fairly quickly now more people working here we produced enough resources but we're not quite making any more money yet we still need so many workers and obviously we also need to have a look at how best we can export this product at the moment it's not a lot of product and so trucking exports is probably a good starting point but later the movement of these goods to various facilities will become a big and important thing. Okay, at the same time, let's go ahead and expand this area a little bit more. This will be a little bit of a hill next to this old um, old farm farmhouse over here. Um, and there will be more people starting to move in to these areas. Like so, maybe a little bit over here. So more and more people move in. Things become a little bit more dense. 
So typically what happens in, in these parts now is people start seeing opportunity for development, little pieces of infill or areas that would be a nice growth area, something like this. So people uh, are getting a little bit wealthy out of the industry and they see, oh my goodness, this little outcrop over here would be an amazing little spot for someone to uh, to build their big new mansion on. And so then developers come along and they start um, implementing some stuff, some new developments. And the, the city continues to expand. These areas continue to develop um, for um, for the industry. So as you can see now, we are starting to make money. So this town is becoming a really successful place and it continues to attract more and more people. As the commercial demand grows, um, that typically happens along the main street. So we will continue to provide more growth opportunity along the main street for the commercial guys. Even along here, some of the some of this off off or just off off of the off of the main roads, you start seeing stuff developing in there as well. But certainly, uh, more and more people move to the place, and so areas that was pretty sparsely developed is now becoming a little bit more um, dense. Again, nothing major, just a little bit more infill basically in some of the open spots. Okay, a few little spots. And again, as opportunities arise, things grow more and more. We're playing this at a pretty high speed just to kind of emulate how quickly some of these, well, just to try and get through some of these things. Some of it takes, obviously this takes years and years for cities to grow to some of these levels. We're nowhere close to providing services such as um, public transport or anything like that. First buses will only happen much, much later. Here we have the school. There's only a few students in, in here, but they are going to school. So we're trying to meet the needs as, as they pop up, basically. What are you saying? Not enough raw materials and you're saying not enough buyers of products, but you are effectively wanting the same thing, right? So we'll just say... What would empty mean here? Empty. Aim to empty the storage by selling the resources. Full. Aim to keep the storage full by acquiring the resources. Balanced. Aim to keep the storage full and half empty. Half full and half empty. So it should actually continue to develop and, and provide us with with some stuff over there some um, some flour that can be that can that can go out yeah so that's kind of what our what our income statement looks like over here so we're producing a little bit of flour and a lot of the crops are directly going out so these crops should just go to the flour mill that's kind of the idea over here okay so again there's still a massive demand over here so now the um, the commercial starts to grow even further away. And as the commercial moves on, so too there's a requirement for some of the houses closer to the commercial area. So now this road over here, for instance, um, grows a little bit more and provides um, the ability for some more residential um, development close proximity, in close proximity to the, to the commercial. Okay, we're just going to start to fill that up a little bit, this little road over here. Probably going to need some more water that's going to run around here. That's good. We're going to need to run the water through there as well. So now these commercial areas here would become uh, more and more attractive because there's a lot of through traffic that's running through here. That's another reason why cities um, kind of start in the areas they start because they, um, they have the through traffic of, of big national highways. So a lot of people that are not necessarily coming to this little area is driving through here. So there's a lot of commercial activity available over here. This drugstore, this organic foods facility, lots of drugstores. Um, this convenience store over here is uh, is providing a, a, a place or is, is provided with customers that's driving through here. Okay, so the cemetery has not got any disease, deceased people in there just yet. What is this? How can this pharmacy 
be so high density. See, this is something that's a little bit out of place now. And again, we're running out of power. So let's, uh, let's again feed the beast a little bit over there. Now we will need to start, continue our expansion. So people are starting to eye this hillside over here. So how does that then start to happen? Well, this definitely has to go with the bit of the contours over here. So it goes up a little bit, then it goes um, along, along like uh, along like this maybe, and then along like that, and it goes. It can even go off off the side over here and go into there. We'll see about tying those in and this guy could even, yeah, probably do something like that, tie in over there. So now there's some kind of funny roads and, and trails and stuff happening over here. But these are going to be the slightly bigger areas, bigger houses over here as the, the wealthy people decide, no, 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 they are moving out of the city. Like so. Nice proper area to live, lots of scenic areas for in the trees, lots happening over here. Uh, we don't have any power or water out here just yet, but it's something that'll that'll follow pretty quickly. Okay. Lots of uh, expansion over here now, fancy houses popping up. Look at that in between the trees and so on. Okay, now let's make sure that these people actually get water. So I here and there's a, a, a city project to uh, to provide water to, I don't know, Poplar Heights or something. Whatever this area is called. And so yes, now areas start to get little names and so on. But it's all with continued expansion. Ah, we can see there's a bit of a, a demand for industry and offices. So... We should probably see that there's still, well, there's still a lot of workers required in this area. Only half of it is there. But as you can see, it's a growth of industry over here. So let's see. Uh, so there's a little bit of a demand for people to get a little bit of work. So let's see. What else can we, can this, can this area now provide us? Um, a farm workers barracks. So now there's a, now there's a requirement and now there's a little place for the people to that works at the farm to so come and live here. Proves our efficiency a little bit. Got 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 its workers over there, but still all pretty low density. Um, the commercial demand keeps propping up, so there's a continued expansion of that. Some um, some more commercial facilities that pops up, and then this area here, this uh, this uh, slightly. Um, this new, fairly new area over here um, decides to expand a little bit more and provide room. And now things like grids start to pop in because now the town actually starts to realize, oh, guys, we need to be a little bit more efficient in how we lay things out. Everybody can't just be, be going wherever they want and building wherever they want. We're going to run out of space. That starts to happen. So a bit more infill happens and a little bit more zoning occurs. And so on. And that's the kind of stuff that happens. Just make sure all of these people have water. They should all have water. So now the town is expanding even more. And now we start seeing, oh my goodness, there's a fair bit of traffic. So now what happens is there's the uh, upgrade of road projects. So road modification projects start happening. And we start seeing some asphalt roads pop in. That's not good. Okay. We will have to make a plan by moving these things around a little bit so that we, uh, so I'm going to put it back. I just want to make sure that we upgrade this first. Okay, so with that upgraded, I will move that back to its original spot. Of course, it's not working. Honestly, really. I need it there. Anyway, we'll find a spot for it. Okay, fine. We're going to have the spot over there then. That's not great. Anyway, it's there. Okay, now we're seeing, oh, the residential demand is dropping a little bit, but there's a much higher commercial demand. So again, commercial demand 
And since we now know that things are a little bit more space needs to be a little bit more space efficient, the zoning or the zoning starts making provision for that by filling in uh, more efficient spaces for especially the commercial pieces on especially along the main road. So there we go. We're starting to provide all the areas that you can with a little bit more efficient layouts. Now things continue to expand. Um, there starts to be a requirement for educated workers. So that's now how we understand that actually now it is time for the town to develop a high school. Um, we'll provide a library um, somewhere in the main part of city. Something like this, for instance, we'll, we'll start provide our first public library and at the same time that will also bring along with it an upgrade of the roads. So to the public library, the main road over there has been upgraded. So now we've got some main roads and they starts to see a indication that we can upgrade a few more things over here to develop uh, the city a little bit further. And so I, now you can see there is definitely a, a kind of a natural growth of the city to provide the needs. This area over here can be filled with a lot more commercial because as these areas become main areas, um, they attract commercial uses. Definitely nothing like that. Something like this maybe. I don't know, this, this is not going to really work. But there's some commercial activity where we can squeeze some in. The rest of this just uh, kind of zones out a little bit more so that there's a little bit more efficient layouts going on. We'll have more efficient layouts over here. All of that full gets filled in. All of that gets filled in and even all of that gets filled in. Then there's also continuous demand for uh, for the for the residential. So all of our big residential plots gets filled in as well. Everywhere there's a gap, people start to build their houses and move in. Larger houses and uh, larger plots and so on and less gaps in between those plots. Here's something like that then we start seeing some more expansion of our of our uh, of our asphalt road network lost a few houses due to that expansion there okay so as you can see the city is now starting to grow nicely we've got more than a thousand people living here we are slowly starting to see some income but i'm not quite happy with that income just yet we need this to become more uh, profitable. The upkeep, the total profit is a little bit on the low side. So we need to provide some additional services and things over here. So let's see about, and there is a demand for that. So let's see about, uh, ooh, there's a fire, but there's a fire department. Let's see about a milking parlor. So now we're moving into the, the milking side of things over here. A bit of a milking parlor okay so now we are going to start producing some animal products lots and lots of crops we just need these guys to uh, to get workers okay so further uh, road upgrades oh my goodness this is killing me Okay, so let's go back to to that over there. We'll do the upgrades for that a little bit later. Further upgrades over here. It's becoming a real nice little town. Okay, yeah, maybe this road starts to see a bit of upgrade. And the connection onto the main road. So our connections onto the main road has now all, all gone asphalt. Okay, as the moment we don't have any real problems with traffic, but uh, we will have in the future. Okay, let's uh, plan our continued expansion over here. We start off with the uh, with the nice and cheap dirt roads. Let's do a bit of a we'll continue a bit of a straight a straight movement through there, and now we get to a point where it actually starts to make sense. 
to provide an early access into town because that could be getting a little busy of people driving in there to, to then go off. Um, we start to see the split off um, of the main road a little earlier so that that can then lead to um, reduced traffic on the main road itself. So now it's almost, almost becoming a little bit of a bypass route. And then this area is a prime, prime, prime spot for commercial activity in between the, the two main roads, the, the national highway and then its, its, uh, its town counterpart. So we'll go ahead and do all of that as commercial in there. And uh, we'll also do that stretch there as commercial and then we'll fill out that as residential nice and dense so make sure that we continue our expansion of the water projects to provide all of these areas with the water that they need excellent so as you can see we're growing uh, 1200 people commercial demands popping up a little bit there's the demand for educated people now I'm not sure what our education levels look like and we have a look at that over here High school, we don't have. Ah, so we've got 41% educated residents. Is that right? And well-educated just a little bit. I think we're okay still. I think that's okay. We don't have highly educated. Public library, I think, is causing some people to get the well-educated level. But anyway, that's fine. That effectively shows the growth of the city. And we're running out of power yet again. So we will provide another little, little piece over here to provide wind power. My goodness, this, uh, this music still feels extremely loud to me. So let me just uh, have another quick look at the music volume. Or is it the ambient volume? I've no idea. User interface. We'll just get all the volumes down. Okay. Got a still a continued residential demand. So we start looking at other options now. Now we need to start filling in or we need to find other areas that we need to go to. So we probably can see about maybe bringing in a little road from there. And then we're just going to go ahead and tie it in. Maybe like so. And that can become further um, kind of more... Um, efficient um, little road uh, blocks of road something like that and we'll plop a little piece through there so now we're starting to see the growth of the grid pattern as we try and strive for efficiency people will also now start to ask for a little bit of entertainment um, and so this is where the city's first parks will now start to to happen so maybe something like a bit of a dog park over here is a good idea so people immediately um, love the sight of the new dog park. Excellent. And so the town continues to grow. Okay. Is there, oh, there's a bit of a industrial demand. Are we seeing the, uh, the animal products being exported just yet? So we, we don't really get, ah, we are getting close to our, uh, the number of people that can work here. Well, getting closer to it at least. What else can we do? We can get farm maintenance buildings. Where can we slot that in? Somewhere like this. Somewhere over here. Not that really. We didn't really leave a lot of space there. So we'll just get the farm maintenance buildings out over there. And that is going to do what? Storage efficiency is getting better. Got tons of crops being stored over here. And it's pretty full. And all of this is pretty full. So as soon as that starts being, um, being exported, we should see tons of money coming in. Oh, there we go. We've just upped a level here. So now we're level two. Oh, but yes, so some of these things we couldn't have built from level one. 
but we obviously could because we've unlocked all the monsters. Oh, we're level three. We can expand this a little bit more by adding more crops and fields and stuff. So I'll go ahead and get a large animal pasture over here. To the back of that, maybe. Come on. Two large animal pastures ready to go. Also provides us with crops, right? Sheep. Oh, it also goes to raw animal products. It's fine, good. Keep going. Okay, we've got the last 10 minutes of the stream going now, guys. Um, but yes, our town is growing nicely, and I do like the little, the little road we've got going on over here. There is a highway, a big highway connection over here. This is part of the one that I kind of deleted from, from, uh, from the map. Um, oh, there's a little area for expansion up here on the river. So let's see how something like that would actually work. So what they would do is they would provide a little bit of a, a little bit of a road. Maybe we'll go with a small um, asphalt road that does a little something like this up to there, and then a little something like that and like that maybe, and it will tie in as a four-way over there. But let's go a slightly bigger road with a tie-in over there. So there we go, and now this can be some more nice properties over here the riverfront properties is now becoming a thing in this town and then to the back of it nice riverfront properties popping up here and as the developers keep an eye on those riverfront properties the other side of the river starts to look very very nice but again we've run out of power We may just run out of money if we don't, if we're not careful. Hmm. Can we drop any of these budgets a little bit? Road maintenance. What is this? Industry areas. Higher budget increases um, extractors, processes, vehicles. Wow, that's a that's that's a lot of cost. But I think this is this is the primary industry. The other big ticket items are these guys. Can we reduce them to like 90%? Let's go to 90% to see if we can save a little bit of cash. We're cutting your funding, guys. Even the school funding. Yeah, we're not actually using all the capacity. So we'll cut the school funding as well. Here we go. Hopefully that uh, that helps us out a little more. Uh, the the money is is starting. I mean, we are cash flow positive, but our expansion um, is uh, is something that we continuously have to look at. Um, Perfecton. Hey, I'm also streaming cities. Leave your follow. Leave your follow. Would be nice if you check my channel too. Yeah, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Thank you. Enjoying it. Uh, let's upgrade some of these roads a little. And then continue our expansion by densifying some of these areas a little bit. Filling in all of these areas where there's still um, potential to do so. Okay, some info can happen over there and over there. Probably not on there, but definitely in between there. Okay, good stuff. Okay, now we're probably starting to look at um, the upgrade to um, to asphalt for probably all the roads within within the city. And it's also now where where you start seeing the definite um, kind of almost zoning zoning entities where there's becoming clear differences between what is being zoned as a as a as a residential area and when whatnot and what's being zoned as commercial and industrial as you can see the farming district is here on the edge and the 
a kind of bad like um, landfill site is here on the edge as well and then the commercial and the residential stuff is almost kind of mixed mixed up in between one another But so the next step in a town's development like this is it'll actually start looking at providing a little bit more. Well, probably not at this stage when it's just 2000 people. It's still just pretty much suburbia expansion all over and all over the show. So let's go ahead and provide ourselves with another little line of a little line of development over here somewhere. And we'll pull it back a little bit so it doesn't actually go all the way up to the hill there something like so um, continue to provide a little something like that and we will fill all of that with some more residential demand as you can see this space is being taken up immediately and so now uh, developers are seeing the need to expand all the time uh, let's just redo that little section there. I'm not too happy with that. Okay, a little something like this, for instance, and we'll just tie it in over there. And that will be some more residential in full. Yeah, so the town is growing nicely. Ah, there's some room for expansion at the back over here as well. So now we start seeing, well, what can we do here? Something like that um, is going to happen. And then we start filling in um, some more expansion of the residential property. And we can also go ahead and upgrade those asphalt roads here. Oh no! Okay, so lots of expansion happening. Excellent. Well, oh, we're out of power yet again. Is there a different option for us for power? Something that's going to be a little bit more cost effective for us. So that's a lot of pollution, 50k. These guys, all in all, costing us a lot of money. And then the coal power, 40 megawatt, 120 megawatt. Yeah, maybe 40 megawatt is the one for us to go for. So the coal power plant. So let's bring in a coal power plant, uh, maybe out here. Should be okay. Lots more commercial demand popping in. Uh, and is our outflow uh, pipe now at capacity? Yeah, seems to be the case and we're probably running out of water as well. So now the town needs to expand the water production and it will have yet another water tower over here. Okay, another town water tower and then another outflow pipe. Yeah, seems to be a requirement. Okay, we just need to make sure that is connected. Excellent, there it goes. It's still pretty filthy water coming out of there, but um, we're growing. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, guys, we have come to the end of the stream. Um, I will continue this in the next stream, which might be on Saturday. Have a look at the streaming schedule. Um, and, uh, and then I will continue this one. If you have any questions in the meantime, please join us in the Discord. Have some discussion on this um on this on this series do you have any questions something that i need to address in the next episode those kind of things um so yes thank you so much for joining me and i will see you next time bye bye